Hey everyone, my name's Lauren and welcome back to my channel. Or welcome if you're new. Today we are doing my favorite fake dating romances. I love the fake dating trope. It's one of my favorites. It is like top three for me. I just think it's so fun. So like, it's just hilarious. These people 90% of the time have crazy feelings for each other, but they're just like too stupid to admit it. So let's talk about them. There is a few and I just, I just love it. It is like devourable. It is so fun. The first one I'm gonna start with was a recent read of mine and that is Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt. Tara DeWitt is one of my favorite authors of all time. Everything she puts out is chef's kiss. This is an age gap, friends to lovers, fake dating romance. Personally, I think it fell more on the friends to lovers aspect than the fake dating. It is told in dual POV and dual timeline, which can get confusing for people, but overall it's a really good time. There is great representation in this book. There is conversations of grief, anxiety, there is deaf representation. It is great. It is just so freaking fun. The next is one that I've made my entire personality and for good reason. And that is The Right Move by Liz Tom Ford. This is superior fake dating. It is also forced proximity because they are roommates. This is a best friend's brother and it is everything you could want in a fake dating romance. Like literally the combination of all those tropes create the best, most possible book you could ever ask for. Ryan Shay is God tier book boyfriend and no one can tell me otherwise. He is the standard of book boyfriends and boyfriends everywhere. But Indy has to move in with Ryan, who is her best friend's brother. After she breaks up with her boyfriend, she has nowhere to go. She is trying to save money for something. It is great. She's got crazy friends, crazy ex-boyfriend, and he's got some major baggage that he needs to work through. Oh my God. When you find out what he's holding back, see the amount of pain and suffering this poor man has gone through. Oh my God. I have never anything more like it. For You by JL Sky. I love this book with my whole chest. This is a fake dating tutoring romance, which is the superior combination of fake dating, particularly in a college romance. Brody has to tutor Jordan, because he is falling behind on his classes after he suffers a major loss in his life and he is just acting out and out of control. And Ronnie has just broken up with her cheating ex-boyfriend and Jordan's like, well, let me fake date you so that he stays away. As always, these books by JL Sky have amazing mental health representation and she just does it in such a good way. This is a college surf romance. It is set in Australia up near Byron Bay in a town called Blue Haven and so much fun. These boys are so hot and it is a good fucking time. Waiting to score by Eloise Tynan. Eloise Tynan is another Aussie author. These are college basketball romances. Monty is trying to get away from her ex-boyfriend, so she runs up to the quad and kisses West, just tells him to go along with it, and they end up fake dating, and it is so good. There is a cast of friends on both sides, and it is just, oh, it was so fun, so entertaining. I honestly really enjoyed my time with this. This wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't include Devney Perry, but Just for Veil by Devney Perry is an accidental marriage in Vegas, but they continue to fake date, even though they could get an adult, because he needs a date to his ex, girlfriend, ex fiance's wedding, and Eloise goes along with it. And this is so good, and every time Jasper says, my wife, I get weak at the knees. Weak at the fucking knees. Eloise is trying to get her family to take her seriously so she can take over the Eloise in in its entirety and they go to Paris. They go to fucking Paris. Ah, oh, so good. So good. The ending of this book though is really heavy. So I recommend checking your trigger warnings. There is some horrifying things that go down. I was completely unex like I was not expecting it at all. I think the message of what happens at the end is actually there for a reason and it makes you think, but I love this, highly recommend. Debbie Perry is my queen. Next is yet another one of my queens, but that is Real Players Never Lose by Macaulay Smelter. This is a college fake dating where Teddy needs a girlfriend so her his dad stops thinking of him as this playboy and he hears that she has lost her scholarship and needs money to attend university. He's like, here, here's money, be my fake girlfriend, let me help you out. So good. Teddy is a absolute golden retriever, which I love. He loves to bake, which is just so sweet. He's like this rich billionaire boy that loves to bake and is so protective of his mom. Vanessa is a mid-sized girly, which we love to see that representation. But this 
It was so good. I read this last year and adored it. And the last book on my recommendation list is First Down by Grace Riley. Again, another fake dating true drawing romance. And oh, it is so good. This is football romance, which I love a football romance. James has moved to McKee after having a bit of a crazy year at his old, old university. He is on track to make the NFL, but he needs to pass his class that he previously failed. So he gets set up with Bex, another transfer student who can help tutor him in this class. Bex comes from a rough background. James is a rich boy. So that adds a whole other level of complexity as well. He is a supportive man. She has a crazy stalker ex that they, that's the reason that they are fake dating to help and protect her. And the first time we see James, he is standing up for Bex when her ex-boyfriend is talking shit about her. And I love a respectful man, love a respectful man. So this book, is god tear in my eyes five star that is all my fake jd recommendations and i'm sure there'll be more to come in the future but these are some of my faves